In this lesson, we're going to take what we learned in the previous two lessons and explore some important techniques for working on your PC. Remember we discussed dragging in our lesson about the mouse? Dragging can also be used to select text. Take the line of text we have here, for example. You can select the text by dragging the mouse cursor over it. Do you remember how to drag? Position your mouse pointer near the text. The pointer will change into this bar shape. Now, hold down the left mouse button and move your mouse across the text. The text will be highlighted to indicate that it's selected. Once the text is selected, we can copy it to the clipboard. This is a special area of the computer's memory that holds snippets of text or any other kind of data that we are currently working on. To copy the text to the clipboard, open the Edit menu and choose Copy. Alternatively, if you're not sure where the Edit menu is in the program you're currently using, hold down the Control key and press C. The text is now copied to the clipboard. This means we can insert it into any compatible program. For example, I could insert it back into this TextPad document by going to Edit, Paste. Alternatively, if you're not sure where the Paste menu is on the application you're currently using, hold down the Control key and then press V. I could also go to my web browser and insert the text snippet into a text box on a page, for example, a Google search. I could even go into my email inbox and paste the text into an email. In fact, almost any application that supports entering text would allow me to paste this text into it. The clipboard can be used for graphics too. In an application like Paint, we can cut or copy part of an image. Now that this graphical data is on the clipboard, we could paste it into a new image or we could even paste this graphic into a different kind of graphics package, though we cannot paste it into Notepad because Notepad doesn't support graphical data. Mastering cut, copy and paste can make you much more productive when using Windows, so be sure to practice these techniques.